Go yard. I got so much more. Mother! 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 Oh no! Yeah! Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. My name is Vina Leni Manaputri. You can call me Vina. I'm from Class C, Geography Education, Universitas Siliwangi. This video I made for my English final examination test, and. The theme of my video is the population Indonesia nowadays. Without any further ado, let's get started. Mm, do you know what is population? Population is the number of individuals or member of a particular species present in a given territory or area at a given time. The concept of population is used in various fields such as biology, ecology, demography, and social science. In this video, I will discuss population using the fields of demography. The reason why I discuss this video using the fields of demography because demography is the one of the subject of my major, geography education. What is demography? Demography comes from Greek word, which is demos, means population, and graphians means description. So, demography is the study of population or humans, um, especially about births, deaths, and population movements that occur. So, how does our country Indonesia far in terms of population nowadays? As a country, Indonesia has a population. Indonesia is currently the world's fourth most populous country after China, India, and the United States. According to the data from Indonesian Central Bureau of Statistic or Badan Pusat Statistik BPS, the population of Indonesia reached around 273 million people in 2020. So, what factors contribute to Indonesia having such a large population? Here are some reasons why. Number one, high birth rate. Number two, diverse community life. Number three, declining mortality rate. Number four, the population's young age. And number five, low migration rate. The large population in Indonesia has many impacts, but most of them are negative, such as poverty and social inequality. A large population can lead to high levels of poverty and social inequality despite economic growth competition of scarce resources and jobs has the potential to exacerbate economical and social disparities number two infrastructure a large population can put a strain on infrastructure such as roads transportations housing and public service number three health issue Large population can exacerbate health issues such as limited access to health service, disease spread, and an increased risk of pandemic. Number four, education issue. A large population can put a strain on the education system in terms of infrastructure and teachers' availability. Every negative impact must have a positive side effect, and the positive side effect that Indonesia may have benefit from a demography bonus. Demographic bonus is a condition that occurs when a country has a greater number of productive age population than non-productive age population, which is associated with emergence of an opportunity known as the window of opportunity that can be used to improve social welfare. Demographic bonus can help boost economic growth. Economic growth is an excellent tool for elevating poverty. This demography bonus will be a good thing for Indonesia if the productive age population is grown into people who are qualified and have competitive and products good employment. But if this demography bonus is dominated by unqualified people, will be a disaster for Indonesia. I think the information about the Indonesian population uh, is over. Hopefully, the problems that exist as results of Indonesian large population can be resolved soon. I hope Indonesia can enjoy the benefit from a demography bonus. Thank you for your attention. Sorry for my mistakes. I hope you enjoy this video. 
See you next time. Bye.